Okay, Job chapter 30. But now, Job speaking still, they that are younger than I have me in derision. That's laughter, scorn, no respect. Now he talked about the judge of 29, how there was respect. For Job, there isn't. Now notice the pronouns of Job throughout this whole chapter. Whose fathers, the ones that are deriding, laughing, and scorning, I would have detained to have set with the dogs of my flock. I mean, I'd taken their fathers, I'd give them a job. If they needed it. If their children, they're mocking me. They're making fun of me. You see, Job's life has crashed. Not only has he lost his children, he's lost his livestock, death, and being taken away, and his wife, and the illness. It seems to me that people are coming where Job is, and they're laughing at him. And they're mocking. And while these three men here are just not a no help. So it's not just Job and his three friends. It's Satan is sending people, hey, go over there and check out Job. Check out how wonderful he is. Become a laughing stock. Yea, where to might the strength of their hands profit me? To what good are they are they to me? In who in whom old age was perished? For want and famine, they, those men mocking him, were solitary, alone. No groups of people. And famine and all that, you're not going to hang around with groups of people. You're going to be by yourself, for yourself, and nobody else. Fleeing into the wilderness, that's the wrong place to go. There is no food in the wilderness. In former times, desolate and waste. Now, again, do not go into this wilderness and say this is the journey of Israel. We are looking at the time of Esau's grandson. We haven't even got to the 12 tribes of Israel being born yet. Or in the process of being born. We're not in the time of Exodus. So this is not Israel in the wilderness being fed by, being fed by the man of God. Too early. Who cut up morals. That's a plant. By the bushes. Morals is some kind of bush. And juniper roots for their meat. So the famine is so strong, they're just grabbing weeds and bushes and eating them. And I've been told in Ethiopia a long time ago that there'll be people going to hear a meeting, a, a preaching meeting, and they would walk for two or three days. And that they would grab grass on the way and they would be eating grass to go hear the Word of God. And they won't put up with an hour message. I mean, you go, you preach all day to them. And Ethiopia is a nation that's in famine. They were driven forth from among men. Downcast, outcast. We're not going to help you. They're forced out. They cry after them as they're after a, a thief. You know, get them, get them. Here are people, the famine, there's trouble, there's problems. And people are like, you know, that's the enemy, go get him. And it's a, it's a type of tribulation passage. There's a Jew, go get him. Hey, that, that's what the Antichrist wants. Get him. He's worth money. And the Jews are going to be forced to go out and try to live on what they can live, what they can find. Because they're not going to receive that market. They're not going to get no food. They're not going to get no help. They're not going to get no health care unless they receive that mark. And they're not going to receive that mark because any proper Jew would not settle for an image and an idol. Now, glad that Jesus said there'll be some nations that will help them. So, in the midst of the book of Job, we're seeing tribulation Jews trying to survive on shrubs. And when they're caught, they're, they're hunted down. And they become enemies of, well, not enemies of Job, they're just mocking Job. They were driven from the monk man, they cried after them as after a thief. Did, oh, excuse me. To dwell in the cliffs of the valley. They have no house. Their house has been taken. Their property has been has been removed by the government because you will not receive that mark. 
There's coming a time that anything, everything of all possessions, all life will rest upon the mark of the beast. And you will not be able to do anything, nothing without that mark. And this will be the time of Jacob's trouble where they're going to have to survive or they're going to die. And if they receive that mark, they're going to die. If they get caught by the Antichrist, they're going to die. In caves of the earth, in the rocks. Now this is also mentioned in the book of Hebrews. About men of God who go in the caves and they're, they're forced to wear sheep skins and goat skins. And, and the world doesn't want them. And yet to God, they're very precious. There'll be, a, there'll be a remnant of Jews hiding out, probably sell preacher, and we could be wrong about that, but they're going to hide out, they're going to run from the devil, and God's going to prepare them a place, and when Jesus comes, he's going to take them. And if you ever seen pictures of, of sell preacher, I mean, there's this buildings inside the rock. Well, here it is. And let's go over to Hebrews 13, look at uh, Hebrews 11, look at that real quick. Because it's also a tribulation passage. That Jewish person is not going to have a home without the mark. He's not going to have a family without the mark. And people come up with movies today, oh, we're going to beat it with a computer. No, you're not. <clears throat> so, Hebrews 11, verse 35. And this is past, Christ, uh, past per prophets and men of God in the Old Testament. It's also Christians, and it's also tribulation things. Hebrews 11, 35, women received their dead, raised their life again. Others were tortured. Old Testament, church age, tribulation, not accepting deliverance. Church age. If you will say that the Pope is holy and that Mary is the way to get to God, we'll take you off those baggage. I denounce your religion. I trust in Jesus Christ and Jesus alone. They went up in flames. That they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourging. Yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment, Paul. They were stoned, Old Testament, church age, tribulation. And were sawed asunder, cut in half. And were tempted, slain with a sword, killed by a sword. They were... They wandered about sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains and dens of caves of the earth. There we are. And having a good report of faith. That's Old Testament, that's church age, and that is future tribulation saints. Listen, the Jew is going to be hiding from the, from the Antichrist. Anywhere and everywhere. In verse 8, they were children of fools, yea, children of base men. Men who didn't know anything, just normal, common, everyday men. They were viler than the earth. I mean, that tribulation period is the time of wickedness. And when the Antichrist in the three and a half years is up and proclaims that idol and says, listen, it's the mark or the... Listen, there's going to be sinning Jews who sin and and with wickedness, you're going to realize at that moment, uh, it's got to be God, Jehovah. I can't receive that mark. And Job goes now with himself, verse 9. And now am I their song. Yea, I am their byword. They're ranking on Job. They're picking on Job. They abhorred me, Jesus Christ. They flee far from me. All the disciples ran. But John, and spare not to spit in my face. That's Jesus. Now, is it literal for Job? I don't know. Job saying, here I am, and they're spitting upon me, and they hate me. If it's true. Because he has loosened my cord, God. And afflicted me. They have also loosed the bridle before me. 
the control, the reign. They set me free. They don't want to have anything to do with me. I'm not their family member. I'm not their friend. I'm not their judge. I'm not somebody anymore to them. They let me go. Upon my, and again, look at the pronoun. My right hand rise the youth. They were respecting him. Now they're cheering on him. That's what, that's what American youth are doing today. That's what the English youth are doing today. That's what the youth is doing throughout the world. They're going against the elders. They push away my feet. They raise up against me the ways of their destruction. They mar my path. They set forward my calamity. They have no helper. It means in the time of their destruction, the time of their vileness, they'll have no help. God ain't with them. This is the this is the people of Proverbs chapter one. Come, let's go shed some blood, and it will spoil that guy's house. And Proverbs said, "Don't do it." They came upon me as a as wide breaking in the waters, a big violent, like a dam breaking forth. This destruction and desolation they rolled themselves upon me. Terrors are turned upon me. This is Job speaking. They pursue my soul as the wind. He doesn't know where it's coming from and doesn't know where it's going to go and doesn't know what's next. I mean, you could be outside in the wind and it could be just a nice, good feeling breeze and then it could be something that's almost ready to knock you over. And my welfare passes away as a cloud. What is a cloud? One minute, there it is. It looks like an elephant and it looks like a dog and then within time, it's gone. No more ever to be seen again. When you see a cloud and it disappears, that's it. You're not going to see that cloud no more. Now my soul is poured out upon me. The days of affliction have taken hold upon me. It's just mounting up, mounting up, and mounting up for Job. My bones are pierced in me in the night season. And my shinews, part of the body, take no rest at night. I'm supposed to be sleeping, I'm supposed to be resting, but my body's getting worse. I am not getting the rest and I am not getting the sleep at night. I'm supposed to. My body aches, my body's sore, my body's breaking down. Remember, he's got these boils, he's got these diseases. We'll learn a little bit more. By the great force of my disease is my garment changed. Remember, he's got, he's got boils all over him from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. And those boils, I know, they break open. They sh I mean, they gush sometimes. I had a boil just shoot across the room. And it's pus and it's blood and it's just gooey. And they say some of it, you got you to gotta cleanse your hands and wash your hands because they can contaminate you and affect you with boils. And he's saying, it's changed my clothing. Here I am, I'm sitting in the rags, I'm sitting in, and I'm getting covered with this pus and blood. Not only has my body been afflicted, but my clothes. Look at my clothes. And that is true to Job right now. And if it's true for Job right now, then there are people coming up to Job and spitting in his face. People can be cruel. There are children coming up to Job saying, hey, 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 yeah. You know what that's making Job? That's making Job angrier, and that's making Job sorrowful, and that's making Job feel worse. Because there's nobody comforting him. There's no one that has answers. And you know who's going to comfort that Jew in the tribulation? Very few people in the nations. And they don't even know they're doing it, Jesus said. Outside of that, there is no comfort. A woman's going to go into the emergency room in the tribulation, and whether she's a Jew and loves the Lord, or just somebody of a nation that, that does not want to receive that mark and, and knows something about it, it's wrong, she's going to go in the hospital, her child's going to be sick, going to be something's going to be seriously wrong, and going to be, well, treat that child if you take the mark. And No, I can't. And Jesus said even about the women, pray that you know your flight be not in the winter and the Sabbath, 
be not in the winter. The airplanes are going to be grounded. And woe to the women that are with child. And woe to the women that get sucked with children. Because it's going to be your life or it's going to be that child. And that Jewish person, the tribulation person, time is going to be marked. He's going to be discredited. He's going to be hated. He's going to be teased. And he's going to be everything that's happened to Job. Because Job pictures the, Jew, the tribulation Jewish person being tormented by the devil and three friends. Now my soul is poured out upon me. The days of my affliction have taken hold upon me. My bones are pierced in me. And it is hurt. And night sees it. And my sinews take no rest. When you've got neuropathy, your bones of your legs and the muscle of your leg, when you lie down and say, oh, I'm going to rest, it is the worst pain when you should be sleeping. It'll keep you awake. I'm not saying Joe had neuropathy, but there are pains at your legs when you're supposed to be sleeping. It'll keep you awake. By the great force of my disease is my garment changed, soiled. It bindeth me about as the collar of my coat. The goo, the pus, the blood, those things, it has his garment sticking to him and scabs. And if he goes to peel it, he's going to peel apart those scabs and those, those boils. I've had it happen. One boil. That collar is that thing that it goes around your neck tight. Like a tie. He has cast me, God has cast me all into the mire, mud, goo. Jeremiah is sunk down in the mire in the drug in the dungeon where all the wastewater went. And he was sinking. And I have become like dust in ashes. That's what man is. Death. I cry unto thee, God, and thou dost not hear me. I stand up. Thou regards me not. And he's saying, listen, God, you're not paying attention to me. That's completely opposite of Job 1 and 2. God is allowing the devil to attack, but with, you can't do that. Don't do that. And again, what we see now is God working now. It's like he's trying to get, he, he's putting it on Job so Job will repent of his sin. Thou art become cruel to me. That's how Job sees his condition now. Where he is, God, this is cruel. This is absolutely cruel. And with thy strong hand, God, thou opposes thyself against me. You're, you're against me, God. This, what you're doing to me, is vile and it's cruel. Thou lifts me up to the wind. Thou causes me to ride upon it. And dissolveth my substance. You just throw me up in the air. I'm just battered back and forth. I'm going with the wind. I have no substance. I have no ground. I can't stand. For I know that thou will bring me to death. All die. The wages of sin is death. And to thy house appointed for all living. That's interesting. Job says God's going to kill him. The wages of sin is death. And after Job dies, he says, I'm going to a house. Job didn't say he's going to hell. His friends told him he's going to hell. He said, when I die, God, I'm going to a house. God said, Jesus said for us who is God, he said, I prepare you a mansion. The new earth I will believe would be for Gentiles and like Job. Who have believed God, gotten right, and they get a new earth and probably build a house in the new earth. The Jews will, I mean, skip the new heavens. I got that wrong. The Jews will get the new earth. Because they've been promised an earthly title through God, through Abraham. There will be probably in the new universe, the new heavens and earth, there will be probably planets occupied by people. I believe it be the Gentiles who the Old Testament and the tribulation period who have done right to God but are not necessarily children of Isaac and Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. That new earth, I believe, is for the, for the Jews they'll have lands, they'll have houses, they'll have all greatness, no enemy. 
But Job says, I have a house pointing for the living. After death, he says that. Now, I don't know what Job knows that after death, because I don't understand what they know in the Old Testament. But Job has made a stomach. After I die, I'm going to a house. Didn't say he's going to limbo. Didn't say he's going to hell. He's going to a house. How be it? He will not stretch out his hand to the grave, though they cry in his destruction. Because the man cries like the man, the rich man in hell cries out to Abraham. God's not going to reach down there and help that rich man in hell. And there are people crying out all in hell today according to Jesus with that rich man. God ain't going to take care of you. God ain't going to help you. So Job says, I got a place for God. And then there's a place where people go and it's utter destruction. And Jesus said, that's hell. Job is preaching hell. And the counterpart of what his friends think that he's going to hell, Job says, I'm not going to hell, but there are people going to hell. Did not I weep for him that was in trouble? I guarantee so. I guarantee when Job had people come to him with cases because he was a judge, when he had family and friends and neighbors come up to him, you know, my son was just in this, this battle over there and he was killed by a sword. I bet you Job did weep for them. I guarantee Job was touched for them. Was not my soul grieved for the poor? I guarantee for him it was. Listen, he loved his children enough that he offered sacrifices to God in case they sinned against God. You know, he never yelled at his wife or her again. He says, woman, you just speak as a fool. Shall we not receive good? Shall we not receive evil of God and all this? Job didn't sin. When I look, those pronouns for good, then evil came upon unto me. Is that not life? I want good, and boom, you get hit with evil. That's not the law of sowing and reaping. You know, you take it like this. Job says, listen, I planted tomato plants. You know what I should get back? I should get tomato plants, right? Job says, I planted tomato plants. You know what I got? I got a whole bunch of poison ivy. That defies nature. And you know where that defilence came? Is when man disobeyed God and ate that fruit. As Adam and Eve never eaten that fruit, the tree of knowledge and good and evil, every good thing that Adam and Eve and their children and their grandchildren their great -grandchildren, and great grandchildren, great grandchildren, whatever they've done good for God, they would got a reward. A good reward. Not under sin, we don't. And when I wanted, for, when I waited for light, there came darkness. And that happens true for the Christian. God, where do you want me? Am I where am I supposed to be right now? now? That's what I'm asking God right now. Lord, is this where you want me? Is this what I am? And then sometimes, you know what? You don't get the answer. Like, come on, God, I want to do right. I want the answer. I want, where am I? And we want to throw that, that, that fleece out. And we want to bring it to see about the water. And sometimes God's like, I'm not answering that for a while. Whatever reason, you don't get an answer. And when you got a public ministry, Lord God, I go out there and I preach the gospel. I don't have any nonsense. I preach that gospel and it seems like all I do is get people yelling at me, screaming at me, and turning away from me. But one day when I get the glory, I'll see the light of the ministry. And I'll see one day those people who did the worldly way and did it the wrong way, they will get a loss. That, that those two children in, in Pilgrim's Progress, they sat there and one was rambunctious running around. He wants it now. He wants it now. He wants his touchy roll. He wants his bounce house. He wants everything now. And he'll get it now. But that faithful child that sat there and waited, he gets his reward when we get to glory. And sometimes it seems like darkness. What is not darkness? My bowels boil. I don't know what that would do as far as his mental condition. And rest did not. His insides are just out, just heated. 
and boils can cause fever and boils can make you feel hot I know that one boil I had two boils one at a time two different times in my life and rest did not I didn't get no rest inside I inside for killing me Job said the days of affliction prevented me prevented me what I couldn't do nothing I was too sick I went mourning without the Sun I stood up and cried in the congregation help me I need prayers I need help now watch this I think this is all literal my skin is black upon me scabs dry blood pus so when they say they spit on me I believe literally they spit on Joe they spit on Jesus my bones are burned with heat The Bible has something called a burning boil. That would be even worse what Job has. If those boils are infected with an inflammation of heat. Burning in heat. My heart also is turned to mourning. I, I don't want to hear singing. I don't want to play a musical instrument. I don't want to play. And my organ into the voice of them that weep. I, I, I don't want to hear no. Just, just I want to go into pity. I want to go into sorrow. I want to go into despair. I don't want to hear music. That's a man who's been broken. That's a man who's been afflicted. That's a man who's in pain. That's a man who's getting no help from nobody. Don't be angry with Job. 